president of one of these leagues is an extremely difficult, time-consuming job. You will get phone calls at midnight, and you'll get them at 5 in the morning. Uh, you'll have issues almost every day that you have to work through, uh, getting books together, trying to keep up with coaches who will do anything, uh, and keep all of that straight is unbelievable. The only thing that I can think of that would be harder than doing that would to be would, would to be a new president who's coming in behind the guy who's been around for 20, 25 years. Uh, because you know coming in, people's gonna say, well, he wouldn't have done it that way. Uh, now he never did do that. You know, that's an extremely difficult situation to come in. And this guy did it with grace and did a fabulous job. Mr. Tony Stringer. <laughs> Tony fired me last year. Um, <laughs> what a job you've done, Tony. <laughs> You can tell him. Purvis. Purvis. Purvis is here. Right? Okay. As hot as we get in and into the game like as we are, those guys are too, and they're doing their very best. And they're only human. They're gonna make mistakes just like we do each and every day. So guys, we appreciate what y'all do. <coughs> and please if you would be be the leaders in your community with your kids and, and show them the right way to handle things. It'll go with them for a long way in their life. Uh, just real quickly talk about uh, about the website. We have a website. If you don't know, you can get there by going to www.leaguelineup.com slash myf for Mississippi Youth Football. We'll probably go ahead and open up the domain and, and so you can go directly there. But, but for now, that's where we go. Uh, some of the things that we'd like to do there is we'd like to do something with our scores. We get calls and emails from people from other leagues around the state, from, from Alabama, uh, from a group out of Georgia called the, the Triangle Group. And some of the things that they that they talk about, they want to, they want to know is who you know what's going on in our league. What are we doing differently? And our scores and, and where we're at is very important because that is us. And if we're all Mississippi football, we project an image. And what we want to project to everybody in the state is Mississippi football is where it's at. And the way we do that is by providing information to those people. This is who we are. This is where our leagues are. If you want to play, that's who you're talk to in your area. These are, the, these are the games being played. These are the scores that are out there. You know what I mean? All the articles are out there. So to, to do that, we've tried a whole lot of ways. We ask you to email in. And I know it gets tough. Uh, you got a league to run. you got a lot of things to do. So one of the things we've talked for a couple of years about doing is we're going to try to find some people in individual areas around and kind of spread this thing out. So we can say, okay, you guys, Linda, you take care of that group up there and gather up all the scores and we give you a password. And you go in and publish those scores for us, put them out there. And then I'll take an area, and somebody else take an area. And uh, that way we can keep that stuff up to date. Um, it's all up to us to project that in. So that, that'll be something you'll see going on, and hopefully we can grow that. Pitchers, guys, I can't tell you enough. You've got, we've got kids out there that are performing every day. They're, they're, they're out there when it's hot, they're sweating, they get their knees cut, and they're bleeding. They're working hard to represent their community and their parents and their kids and you. And, and, and it is just an amazing thing for them when they can go online and they see a picture of themselves. I can't tell you how many parents have come up to me and said, man, my kid goes to that website every day. Every day. He will hit and he tells all his friends, go to that website and, and, and there's my picture right there where I was making a tackle. Guys, we all got people <coughs> taking pictures of our kids at games. Please, please, please send those pictures to me. I will do everything I can to get them, get them put in a, in, a, in a format that I can to get them on the web page. If I can, I'll like put them right on the front page. And that's every, every kid. I know somebody may be thinking, well, you know, we're just a little bitty small place. Nobody's really concerned about it. we're a little, little, little bitty small place. Every kid is huge in this league, and every kid deserves to have an opportunity to have their picture on that website. So please do that for us. We greatly appreciate those things. Articles. We come to these events, we go to the, the, the different youth events we're at, and we hear about great games that were out there. Where we went to double double overtime, triple overtime. You know, we were back and forth, and scored with nothing to nothing. Triple overtime, somebody won. Somebody scored a touchdown in that game. No article on our webpage. And it doesn't have to be a huge event, but if it's out there, 
Guys, take a few minutes. Some of you guys are, are very articulate writers. I'm sure you are. Please sit down, take a few minutes, write an article, and send it to me. Give me an opportunity to spotlight not only the, the, your, your football team, but your program. That's going to go a long way to grow in your individual program in your area. And it's great on all of us to do that sort of thing. So if you can, please write some articles for us out there. Um, one of the complaints that we get are game times. These guys work very hard to put together schedules. We publish those out. We publish the game times. We all want to know. Grandma and, and Grandpa want to know. They want to get there on time to see somebody. Maybe they're coming from out, out, of, out of state to come in to see the game. And we've published that the game is at 10 o'clock. Newton, Mississippi, 10 o'clock. Well, for whatever reason, we couldn't get the field. We had to change the time. If we have to change the time, please take a few minutes and shoot to me so I can put it on the webpage. So we let, we, we let everybody know and everybody gets there on time and finds their way there, okay? Uh, forums. Forums have turned out to be a huge thing for you guys. And I think that's awesome. That's one of the things I told Tommy from the very beginning. I thought the forum area would be awesome for you guys if we could get you to use it. And you guys have it. Thank you very much. And if you don't know what that is, this is your opportunity to come onto our website and in a fully open environment, you can post a subject that's, just, that's important to you. So if uh, horse collars are important to you, then you can start an area about horse collars. And then everybody that is a member of that webpage, and please sign up for that webpage because I get your email address on the email blast, you'll always get them. And everybody that finds that interesting or has an opinion on it has an opportunity to post it. One thing we ask is when you do that, please be respectful and remember children are viewing our webpage. So while we want you to be passionate, we want you to post the things that are important to you and, and bring forth new information and your ideas and what's important in your community, just remember children also read those things at the same time. I got one thing I have to uh, no, Anybody have any questions about these rosters? What about the I covered the hand risk of the roster. Some of them are acceptable if they start at the first beginning of the year and it remains all year. But it should look the same all year long. Well, that was my question. What are we going to do? What are we going to start doing about it? Well, we said, like you just said, we said the hand risk of the well, it how do we know they didn't add something to it? Sometimes I've got wrong Well, you really, you really, as Dustin said, say it, you really don't know if somebody has changed their roster if it's tight. And it's, and it's and you, you, know, you don't know that anyway. My problem is, and I'll tell you once again, the problem I have is when people oh, show up to me, when people right. show up to me, and uh, people show up and they done scratch my list, and the kid has had four different jerseys in love a year, it amazes me that the same kid on your team is the only kid that constantly keeps losing his jersey. If, you know, if that same kid keeps losing his jersey, that coach needs to take that jersey up at the end of the ball game and keep it with him to the college center. There's ways you can get away from these excuses that we hear on Saturday with the roster. Our bottom line, my, the commissioner may have something over me to say, but if you don't have a proper roster, I say it's illegal. You need to get your roster right. Listen up, everybody, before you leave. I just got a text from that team on the coach. He said, he said, the last commissioner just beat him and said that we, well, he wasn't on the roster. Well, he wasn't on the roster because I didn't see him in their abusive cell. But they called themselves the Ducks. You know, I've asked Michael Brown to check them out. We will be back to you on whatever they have. Michael's going to check them out. They just sent me that text. They will check it out and get back to you. Are there any more questions? We're going to close the time. Yes, sir. No, but I think we'll do that in church.